Mother Nature instead of medicine cabinets, more Utahns are using alternative medicine to manage physical and mental illness. April Baker explains how ancient healing practices are being embraced in the Beehive State. So here we have milkweed. As a self-taught forager, Mike Wood has spent the last 12 years of his life on the ground researching plants. His daughter, a driving force behind his exploration because she suffered from allergy-induced asthma. I started looking at the plants to see, is there something that will help her with that? And sure enough, I started finding all kinds of plants that can help her with her asthma. It goes beyond nutrition. These plants are healing. Now, Wood passes down this knowledge through his business, Wild Utah Edibles, where he offers plant tours. Wood says he's seen interest in natural cures growing. People are starting to wake up and recognize we don't have to be sick and we don't have to depend on government or big pharma to bail us out. According to Mount Sinai, over the past two decades in the United States, public dissatisfaction over the cost of prescription drugs and interest in returning to natural remedies has led to the increase in use of alternative medicines. That includes adaptogens, with many articles on them appearing in recent Women's Health and Forbes magazines. We asked Dr. Laura Shane McWhorter, a professor at the University of Utah College of Pharmacy, to explain what they are. An adaptogen basically is a substance, and it could be, for instance, foods or supplements or herbs or even mushrooms that help the body to cope with stress. A recent transparency market research study shows revenue generated from the global adaptogens market going from 10.3 billion in 2020 to 23.4 billion by 2030. I've added a little bit of organic stevia and then we've got your lemon and lime. And then the slumber, my grandson loves this one. <laughs> Beverly Hollister co-owns a small business in Provo called Tibena. It produces teas containing adaptogenic herbs. It's really feeding our body the nutrition that our ancestors knew. It's not a miracle, it's not a, it's just food. And because they're not a pharmaceutical, Dr. Shane McWhorter says you have to consider several things before taking alternative medicines like adaptogens. That includes looking into where they grow. Are there any pesticides or any other products in the environment that could potentially affect the quality of that product? She also says they could react with prescription medications, so talk with your doctor beforehand. April Baker, Fox 13 News, Utah.